What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. So today's video is going to be a little bit different than other videos that I made in the past. Normally I have some sort of script or I have some sort of topic that I have in my head. Um, I do have a topic, but I haven't made any sort of script because I just saw this and it honestly has kind of pissed me off a little bit. <laughs> so the company Built Bars, they make protein bars that a lot of their audience is people that are trying to lose weight. I think that comes from the fact that a lot of their social media influencers that they have started working with are people that have lost weight. And some of them are people that I consider my friends. Now, that doesn't change the fact that what I think they are doing right now is despicable and I'm, I'm, I think it, it just goes to show you that the fitness industry still has so, so much more work to do and that's why I try to make these videos is because I want to call stuff out when I think it's wrong um, because I think that that's what's been missing in the fitness industry for a long time. There are tons of channels that are doing this now and I, I'm really happy that it's happening because for so long there would be these myths or these fake things that would be going around and people would just kind of take it for face value because there wasn't people being critical about it. Uh, so today I want to talk about Built Bars recently released a bar that's called the Built Burner Bar. And the whole premise of this bar is that this bar is supposed to help you burn fat. I was actually sent this uh, a few times on Instagram. Now this is the picture that they posted and as it said, as you can see it says uh, six new flavors and then it has more protein, less sugar or whatever. Uh, but it says burn more calories, burn more calories by eating a bar, suppress appetite and increase fat loss eating a bar. You can increase fat loss by eating this bar. That's what this advertisement is saying. Before we go any further, I wanna make it very clear, I have nothing against protein bars. I actually eat protein bars pretty frequently. Uh, right now I'm really liking the Cliff Builders bars because there's no whey in them. Uh, but I don't I don't have anything against protein bars. I think that they're a great, I, I don't even really consider them like a supplement, it's more just food that you're eating that happens to have a good amount of protein. It helps me hit my protein goal. So I have nothing against protein bars. They're regular bars. I'm sure they taste great. They seem to, everyone that I've talked to that has had them says they taste really good. And I'm sure these burner bars taste really good as well. It's the marketing behind this bar in particular that is predatory. And I think it's getting people to believe in something that isn't true. That's where the danger lies. So in their caption, they uh, they kind of go through a couple of the reasons why the burner bar is different. So the first one, it says protein plus burner. Our proprietary blend of ingredients works with the 18 grams of protein to make the formula significantly more effective. Now, right off the bat, I'm not a huge fan of proprietary blends because basically what that is, is they put a bunch of stuff together and they call it, you know, a burner blend. So you don't know exactly how much of caffeine is in this bar, how much whatever green tea extract, you don't know the exact amounts of things that are inside this proprietary blend. So you'll see this with a lot of different supplements. What I like to see with a supplement is that they list every single, you know, it has five grams of creatine. It has this many grams of, of, of caffeine. It doesn't just say it's a five, five, 5,000 milligram proprietary blend because then you don't know exactly what's inside of it. So that's something that I am not a fan of with this. Number two, engage the brain. Hunger is triggered by the brain. Our ingredients work with the hunger triggers in the brain to delay those responses. So again, just taking this at face value, what you're saying here is that your bar will make it so I am less hungry throughout the day. That's what this is saying. And then lastly, number three, satisfy cravings. Our ingredients work with the incredible taste of the bar to reduce cravings. Now, I don't disagree. I'm sure to a lot of people, the bars taste really good. So I don't, there's nothing, I don't think really wrong with that. You know, if you're somebody that wants a chocolate bar and you eat one of their chocolate protein bars and that helps satisfy, that's totally cool. So I left a comment and I said, nope, this is not cool. <laughs> but I wanted to do a little bit more research. So I actually went to their website and clicked on these new burner bars. And this is, this is how they're marketing it to people. So it says here, introducing more protein, now 18 grams, less sugar, now three grams. And then it says, again, burn more calories, suppress appetite, increase fat loss. And then right under that, it says, eat two bars a day, two bars a day, and lose weight faster. So what they're saying there 
is eat two of our bars, so basically pay us twice <laughs> in a day, and you will lose weight faster. <laughs> And then I scroll down a little bit more and it says, eat two bars a day and lose weight faster again. And then two per day versus one per day. So they even have a, they even have this visual to show you that if you eat two bars a day, you're gonna get a lot more out of this product than if you only eat one. So for one bar a day, you get five hours of increased fat burning, increased fat burning, nice. Three hours of appetite suppression, and one full serving of weight loss formula. Now, if you eat two bars a day, you will get 10 hours of increased fat burning. Nice. Eight hours of appetite reduction. Two full servings of weight loss formula. Thank you for letting me know that if you eat two bars, you get two full servings. And if you eat one bar, you get one full serving. And then at the bottom of this website, it, it lists the active ingredients. You know, it's it's the ones that you'll see in most fat burner supplements. So it's the Garcinia Cambogia. I don't know how to say that exactly. Green tea extract. And then there's other words that I'm not going to try and pronounce. But basically, what these do and what they've been shown to do is for most people, one, a lot of them work like caffeine would work, right? So it will boost your energy and in return with that boosted energy, you will be a little bit more productive. You might move a little bit more in a day because you have that in boost in increased energy, right? So if you are sitting there doing nothing and you drank a cup of coffee, this is the, the argument that I always use. Like, why not just spend the money on, you know, having a cup of coffee? Because one, it's gonna be a lot less cheap. They're not gonna try and make you eat two bars, right? It's gonna be zero calories versus however many calories are in the bar. You're going to get that increased energy, right? You're going to be burning more calories. And on top of that, calorie is it, or calorie coffee is an appetite suppressant, so you're going to get the the benefits of that as well. So what all of those ingredients are doing, it's not burning fat for you. That's my biggest issue because again, I'm sure that these bars taste fine. I'm sure there's, I'm sure everything is fine with them, right? But when you're marketing to people and they're the largest amount of people that they're marketing to are people that are trying to lose weight because of the influencer market they've used, right? The influencers they are using are people that have lost weight. So the people that are following those people are people that are trying to lose weight. So when you start preying on people that might not know any better, that's where I draw a line. Now, the argument that I always hear when I bring stuff up like this, like with supplements, people wasting their money on things like that, the argument that I get against it is, well, it's that person's fault. They should have done more research and they that it's their fault. They spent their own money on this product that obviously wouldn't work. Now, most people that are following my channel are going to know that when they saw that ad, I, I would hope at least that that's BS, right? There, that is That product is not going to burn more fat. The issue I have is that the people that are seeing that, that are getting tricked into that, do genuinely think that eating this bar is going to make them burn more fat. Now, is there a benefit in maybe like the placebo effect? So like thinking something works, so it does? Yeah, I guess. But again, this is the issue with the fitness industry is that they, they are marketing these ridiculous claims and people believe them and it, it just makes the whole industry look like a joke. When it comes to losing weight, be in a caloric deficit. If you wanna use protein bars and they help you maybe stay in a deficit or they maybe help you hit your protein goals, there's nothing wrong with that. Again, that's something that I do. But you have to understand that pretty much there's no supplement out there. There is no supplement out there that is going to make you lose fat faster. It does not exist. Will there be supplements that maybe help give you a little bit more energy so you, you're moving around a little bit more in a day? Yeah, do you need to be spending your money on those things? Personally for me, I don't think you need to do that. I think that you can lose weight without spending a single dime on any sort of supplement with, without a doubt. That is my that is my belief. So to, to market these bars as fat burning bars, it, re it really blows my mind because somebody, think about it, if you're, if you're eating in a deficit and then you see that as a, oh, there's these fat burning bars, so you add in two of them every single day and then you end up being in a surplus now because you're eating these bars that you think are gonna help you lose fat. Now you've added these bars and now you're no longer losing weight. Like that, that is ridiculous. I personally believe that if you are trying to lose weight, I usually actually avoid 
protein bars or any sort of bar just because normally they they have a you know a dense amount of calories in such a small package that you're usually not that full after eating them anyways so i would recommend kind of steering clear of like protein bars if you know if, if you're in a pinch and you need something yeah totally go for it but i wouldn't recommend having that every single day if you are in the beginning of your weight loss phase. I would recommend, you know, regular food. So to, to market this as you should eat two of these a day to lose weight, that is irresponsible. That's what I believe at least. So again, that's just my opinion. I'm, I'm really curious about what other people think about this. I, I know that my opinion on this is stronger than it is for most things, to be honest. So I, I always struggle with wondering if maybe I am a little too sensitive, but I truly, my, my thoughts are with people that are trying to lose weight and are getting tricked by these things. So that's why I, I get so upset about this. But I would, I would genuinely love to hear what you guys have to think down in the comments section down below. Before we end the video, I do want to say if you guys haven't checked out my podcast, I would love for you to guys to check it out. I will link it down in the description. It's called the Work for Change podcast. I do it with my brother. We have tons of interviews. We talk about a lot of the same topics that maybe I, I talk about in videos, but I'm able to go a lot more in depth. So if you somebody that enjoys podcasts you can find it on pretty much any podcast platform if you just search work for change or i will have the itunes link down below it's also on youtube we do videos as well so if you if you want to check that out that would be really awesome but again thank you guys so much for watching today's video make sure you like comment and subscribe there's one other thing that i wanted to say oh yeah look up off i am <laughs> obey the warning signs and when there are flashing lights or wigwags don't attempt to cross until it comes to a complete stop.